Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I want to give you a sneak peek here on something that we are working away at in the background um, with uh, at Enterprise DNA. Now, we are all about empowering Power BI users, right? We've done it. We're doing it with education. We've got we've got a whole range of resources. We've got our support forum. We've got um, the analyst hub. Um, we've got a few other things in the pipeline. But this is a bit. Well, this is one of the big ones. What we feel is a huge um, requirement out there is how to display your insights really effectively, how to actually create really compelling visualizations and also navigation experiences and almost like even applications inside of Power BI. Now, due to the incredible skills of some of our enterprise DNA experts and some of their participation in the challenges, we're seeing some absolutely incredible designs of Power BI reports and probably the best designs out there like by far and that gave us an idea why can't we create designer kits that others can use within their own Power BI reports and you can do this in, in a couple of ways I'm just looking here at a power, at a sort of a PowerPoint presentation but the idea is that instead of having to build things from scratch in here how can we support you in developing these compelling reports and doing it about five times quicker than if you were to recreate it yourself, yourself, right? But also have a little flexibility in there, a little variability around how you could uh, rework the design and present it in a more customized way for you. And, you know, things like changing colors or or changing icons, um, so on and so forth, right? So here is just one example, and watch out for a lot more coming onto our platform very soon. We're 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 um, partnering with um, some amazing designers out there. We're also um, having this led by Mudasir, um, Ali, one of our um, incredible enterprise DNA experts. Um, but this is one of his examples um, that I'm using here. But the idea is that we can build this inside of um, inside a PowerPoint, um, or you could use like a tool like Canva. Um, but what this what this enables you to do is that you can um, you know you can use this preset template. Uh, you could adjust a few colors etc um, if you want you could change a few things around you could delete a few things but then the idea is that you can come in here and um, and you could even create multiples of these right you could create multiple different pages just like you would inside of a power bi report and the idea is that um and, and you know and say for example like instead of this being um the bold one on the second page this would be the bold one for example right and so you would make small changes like that and so what you would do is you would recreate these pages first inside of here before you move them to Power BI. Because what you've got to realize, if you tried to build this directly inside of Power BI, there's a lot of elements here. And if you can get this into just one particular um, like wallpaper or background for your Power BI report, it actually makes the performance of your report that much better, that much faster, because you don't have all of these individual elements that you're trying to um, move around, but also... Um, update every time uh, you open the model or you someone changes to a different page right it's just literally one background and so what you can do is um, just want to make sure that's colored correctly um, so I'll just slip all these like so and so I can group these and then I can um, save as picture and I'll just save as this one here okay I've already saved it before just when I was working through an example um, and then what I can do is when I come into my model here okay so instead of recreating that from scratch using shapes and using icons etc I can just embed it in my background I can come into here I can embed it very quickly um, in, in my background like so come in here click that in and then I just change that from white and you'll see that it doesn't look correct right now but then I go fit and then all of a sudden I have this incredible background embedded into my report and then say I wanted to um, instead of you know and say you know, you, there's a little you know it's not perfect here right so there's a few things that we would need to adjust like potentially you know maybe we need to adjust the page size or maybe we need to adjust things inside of PowerPoint but the idea is what we are going to we are going to build these in a way that uh, you will be able to create these incredibly fast that's our goal right our goal is for you to be able to create these incredibly fast and create incredibly compelling reports without having to do too much from a design perspective without having to recreate things right 
And so what I could do is, you know, say I wanted to create a visualization, I'm just creating it on top of this background. I'm not having to um, recreate really anything, right? Um, and obviously you want to get your, you know, the other thing that we all need to do is make sure that you've got the, um, the right color palette, the similar sort of color palette design is embedded into a Power BI report potentially as well so that you can align your colors really quickly to what you have in the background um, and, you know, um, be able to generate your visualizations and have them fit very quickly. You know, th these are the things we're trying to solve. We, we want to solve for um, those who are using our platform is um, and and just you know giving you ideas around how you can do it as well is that um, you know there are quick there is quicker ways that we can design things we can create really compelling reports inside of Power BI. So let's um, I don't know if I've got got a visualization that I can set up here just that quickly, but um, one of, one of the things like um, that Power BI enables you to do is say you've got this this awesome navigation right you've got these all embedded so you know for us to then create the actual navigation or, or embed the bookmarks into these into these areas is not difficult like what we can do is things like this we can go insert and say uh, we we could use we could use a button I think like we could use a button like so so say for instance I wanted to create like I wanted to actually create this simple navigation well instead of me having to have all of these different things embedded in here what I can do is I can just have something like that I can get rid of all of these details so it's just sort of blank and then in the action I can say okay navigate to page two right navigate to so I'll just click on this again navigate to page navigation to page two right and so now when I've got this in, in my report, I can come in here and then I'm quickly navigated to page two. And then from here, I could then have my page two here, for example. Maybe I want to, I want to move this down here so that I have this look down here. Right, and then I can um, again do a similar sort of thing, right? I could group these, I could save as an image, and then I could have page two. And so, like, I have basically no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a game changer because this is one of the things that takes so long for those who compete in our challenges, um, for those who I work with from our from within our center of excellence. You know, this can be a real holdup in designing compelling reports that your stakeholders love to see. And just think of the variability. Like, you could we could have some templates for financial reporting, some templates for HR reporting. These are the sort of things we, we want to have hundreds of templates that you can call upon and use. That's um, that's going to be our goal here. Um, so I'll just change this up here. So page two, and you know, just not having to recreate this is 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 just for me absolutely game changing, right? Uh, let's see, go fill. No, we want fit like so. Okay, and then we could um, add our navigation to here as well. Okay, so that's all I want to show. You. I think that's enough um, just to demonstrate here. So you know, really, this is this is an idea generate idea generator for you, but this is also to let you know what's coming soon okay so watch out for more details around this super excited about this initiative it's going to be huge for our platform i'm um, really looking forward to showing you more details in the near future okay all the best talk to you soon hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise dna tv if you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the enterprise dna tv channel uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.